Hello friends, it's me, Genuine Coder. This is the third chapter in the Java FX 3D app development tutorial series. In the last video, we have seen how to move the camera in the 3D world. And in this video, I will show you how to rotate objects in the 3D world. So uh, previously we were using a sphere and in this video we'll be using a 3D box. And as you can see, I can rotate this 3D box in any way I want. I am rotating by X axis, I am rotating by Y axis, like that I can move this in the 3D world. So in this video we will see how to control this 3D movement using keyboard. So let us start coding shall we. I have just copied the code from my first chapter, from the first chapter class I just copied here. So if I run this one right now, you could see a simple sphere that can be moved in the three-dimensional world in the set axis so we are using that code and working on it to make it like this so obviously the first thing we have to do is creating a box instead of sphere so if you look at the import section you can see the sphere is imported from javafx scene.shape package and here we have another predefined shapes like a uh, box, circle is 2D, arc is 2D. This, there is a combination of 2D and 3D objects here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a box instead of sphere. So box, box equals new box. And we just have to give three dimension for box because uh, for a sphere we need only radius but here we need three dimensions so I'm going to give it like a hundred width 20 height and uh, 50 depth so I have created this box let's see how it is looking in the 3d world so that's it we got the box here even though we can't rotate it it, ju it just looks like a rectangle but once we start rotating it we can see all the edges so far so good we just have to move it a little closer because when you start this program it is a little bit far away from us so how do we do that yes we change the set property so what we need to do is we have to set the translate set property as we discussed before and here we just have to move it near to us so the set axis decreases when it comes closer to you so i'm going to set something like a minus 800 so if i set minus 800 it should come closer to me yeah it came closer to me i can set that to 1200 to take it a little bit more closer and yes now it is very closer to the camera so we are seeing it in a larger uh, seeing it as a larger box so that is fine now what i have to show you is we can rotate an object so in order to rotate we have a thing called rotation property so by setting this rotation property you can set the rotation of the object so here you can set the rotation axis and a rotate so what we are going to do is there is a transform so there is a thing called transform so transform is used for transforming the object okay so transform can be anything i mean you can move the object that is a transformation in the 3d world or you can rotate it so if i uh, press control space uh, it will auto complete the possible code and here you can see there is translate rotate scale shear all these are transforms so for now i am going to use the rotate property and if you look at the rotate property we have angle and an axis that we have to give so let us stick with the basic thing what i'm going to do is i am going to rotate it by 65 degree and here we can specify the axis so by default the rotate class provides three axes x-axis y-axis and z-axis in case you are wondering you can rotate with any point by providing the three point you want to use an axis i mean if you provide x y c here then it will rotate based on that point in 3d space so if it is x axis it will be one zero 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 if it is y axis it will be zero one 
uh, z is equal to 0 so let us rotate by y axis right now shall we so this is y axis x is 0 z is 0 but y is 1 so we create a transform now we have to attach this transform to the object we have to apply this transform to the object right yes so we can use this get transform method which will return a list of transforms and we can simply add that our add the newly created transform so with these two lanes we should be able to rotate the object in y axis by 65 degrees let's see whether that is working and yes as you can see we have the y axis in the vertical direction and it rotated by 65 degree so let's say i want to rotate it by x axis in that case what i have to do is i can rotate it by x axis so that's it so that's about the basics of rotation now we we want to control that rotation using keyboard so uh, we can use this key press event but before that in order to make things simpler let me just write a simple wrapper class for the group so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a class like a smart object which extends a group so what i'm trying to achieve is i have a box that a box is attached to group and somehow if i can uh, provide easy rotation property something like that then i can rotate this group itself rather than rotating those box this group contain only the box so uh, in theory rotating this group is exactly similar to rotating this box because this group contains only this box so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a rotate property so let's say we have a rotation property and we have a transformation property t equals new rotate so uh, just uh, remember uh, compare what i'm going to write here with this i'm going to write a general class that can be easily rotated then i'm going to write a method called rotate rotate by x value and i just provide angle then here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more rotate so somebody is calling this method rotate by x so i want to rotate that object by x degrees so new rotate and here i'm going to specify the angle then i have to specify the axis so rotate dot x axis is there which is equivalent to the point one zero zero okay so i hope you got the point so one zero zero the x-axis this is a constant for that one so i'm using that one. now there is a thing i mean suppose an object is set a state x like this it is at the state x it is rotated in x-axis by x degree in y-axis by some degree when i apply a new rotation i want to apply the rotation over the current state i mean if it is at uh, 65 degree i want to make it 10 degree more rotated so in that case somehow i have to remember the current <coughs> transform transform the transformation of the object so that can be done using t dot create concatenation so if you look at the documentation return the concatenation of this transform and the specified transform so we already have a transform then we apply over that one so that's it so we created a new rotate uh, pardon me i just have to give it as r so we create a new rotation property then we'll apply it over whatever the state the transform is then we just have to clear the current state get transforms dot clear then this dot get transforms dot add then i have to simply add my new so what i'm what i actually did here is i clear all the transform i use the previous transform apply this new transform over that one then apply it back again so that's about the x-axis now i have to apply this over the y-axis so rotate by y and i can do the y-axis here okay so now i have this x-axis and y-axis rotation now what i have to do is instead of using a simple group i can simply use a smart object so uh, this is a uh, this object extends group so let us rename it to smart group shall we because object seems like a miss i mean it misleads actually so smart group group equals new smart group 
and yes now we have to give control so let us say q and e is used for rotating by x-axis so i need a q control i need a e control so here instead of using like this let me use the group dot rotate by x-axis so here I'm going to rotate by x-axis whenever I press Q positive then whenever I press E I will decrement it so it will rotate in the opposite direction in the same axis now I have to repeat this for the y-axis also so what should we give for y-axis let me give uh, that is hard right <laughs> let me give Z here so case set is that or we can give the number pad so there is number pad controls here so you can specify here i'm going to give number pad six for the y-axis positive rotation and i'm going to give number pad four for rotation by y-axis but in, in the opposite direction so now we should be able to rotate the object we have specified the properties let's see okay so it is at this much rotated because we have added this one statically we don't need that so when we start it should be at a zero rotation then using this keyboard controls we rotate it okay. now I have to make little more changes so here I have user group and here I am applying the changes of a group and here I am applying changes for the uh, box directly so that is not a good idea we if we are using a group we have to work on the group so I'm going to just use the group translates a property here so I am not touching the box directly instead I am touching on the group then here also instead of translating the box I am using this group so far so good let's see wherever we are using so we are not using this box anywhere else now let us run the program and see how it is working and now I'm going to press on Q so as you can see it is rotating on X axis in the positive direction if I press on E it is rotating back now I'm going to press on the numpad 4 and it is rotating in this way now I'm going to press on numpad 6 and that's it it is rotating as we required so that's it guys that's the end of this video in this video we have learned how to rotate an object in java fx 3d application so as always thank you for watching in the next video i will continue this tutorial